NBC5 investigates viral videos showing people how to use this $200 device that can unlock cars, secured gates, even doors to private buildings. Amazon just banned these cloning devices from its website. It can do a lot for 200 bucks. Well, we talked to security experts about just how dangerous this tool is and what you can do to protect yourself. Patrick Fazio has more. It's a product that's gone viral. People posted these videos online showing them opening electronic gates, locked cars, even security doors that require key fobs. Listen for the click of the door unlocking, literally the first default key. They did it using a cloning device called Flipper Zero. It's able to clone certain things like badges um, or garage door openers. Matthew Jakubowski of Chicago has worked in information security for 17 years now. It's really versatile. Um, it's really easy to use and it's, it's opening up a whole new world. You're familiar with the flipper? Uh, yes. This is actually yours? You've, you've had one? This one's mine. He um, and fellow security okay. expert Chris Carlos so showed us how Flipper that. Zero works. The potential dangers of the Flipper, they're not, they're not as severe as, as being made out on these videos. They say this video of the cloning device unlocking a car MG. could only work one time because most cars have rolling code technology. If you are walking away from your car and you hear it lock and then you hear it do the beep again sort of thing, Take a second to like check back because um, that could have been somebody cloning it. Flipper Zero must be nearby to clone a remote control signal and extremely close to clone a security badge. With the Flipper Zero, the, the read range is effectively zero. You okay. have to hold it right on the badge. Has to be right, yeah. right on it. There are other tools that attackers could use to, uh, to read from up to maybe 18 inches away effectively. Uh -huh. Uh, but to combat that, um, you can you know, not have your badge on display everywhere. And they also make uh, special badge holders that will block most of the RFID signals. Amazon just recently banned Flipper Zero from being sold on its website. Why would Amazon want to ban a product like this? They classified it as a skimmer. So as a credit card skimmer, which they don't allow. You're more at risk for someone taking just a picture of your credit card and flipping it over and getting the little CID number on the back, which a skimmer is not going to give you. Press the button and hit read and then place it against the badge. Chris and Matthew each use a Flipper Zero for their personal devices. I've made a copy of my work badge on my Flipper Zero. Okay. And if it's in my bag, I can just use this to, uh, to get into the building. It's a nice little Swiss army knife of electronics. I've had multiple studios I have to get access to. Um, and so instead of bringing four or five key cards, I used to bring this, now I can just bring this. We reached out to Flipper Zero multiple times to ask them about their device, but they never responded. Patrick Fazio, NBC5 Investigates. Thanks to Patrick.